of primary care. Uh, the way I would look at this is point of care testing that is done right at point of service that ensures that there is speed to diagnosis. The whole purpose of this is that a person is coming with some complaint and that complaint is quickly translated to a diagnosis in a manner that is clinically relevant and scientifically proven. And this aspect of it, when we start crunching space and time together, is where we have the benefit of speed to diagnosis. And when I say speed to diagnosis, this is really, that means that people are getting the right care in the right place, in the right context. And this, when we put this concept together, this is really healthcare delivered. So I would not really focus that this is a primary care topic because this is a care topic. The, first, the other part that we need to look at is we need to ensure that this works at scale, <clears throat> particularly for a nation like India. Size and volume is our benefit and is our constraint. So the need for accuracy and the need for this to be collaborated with proven published medical material so that it is deployable. And that necessarily means that we cannot go into endless rounds of pilot. And what do I mean? Obviously, the next question is going to be, if there's going to be an innovation, there has to be a pilot, so on and so forth. Uh, <clears throat> very difficult to argue that concept, but it is necessary. And this could be also the, uh, the frustration of many of the innovators in terms of, we've been doing endless pilots, but we're not seeing the light of the day. And thereby, we are not able to monetize that innovation or their technique. We really need to change that paradigm by ensuring that each of this is published with good amount of scientific and clinically evidenced material so that that whole cycle of getting this to point of care usage at volume and scale with the surety around the levels of accuracy automatically ensure that such like digitally powered innovation becomes mainstream. It is heartening to see innovation, but it is almost disheartening to see that innovation is not ruling mainstream. And when I say ruling mainstream, that means that it's literally become the DNA of our healthcare delivery model. And that is something that we need to do. And this has got no barriers. It's not a rural, it's not an urban, it's not uh, economically segmented uh, thing, uh, profiling. This is common to everybody. From then on, depending on the business model, we can figure out what's the economics around it. But I think that we need to work diligently towards not just achieving the innovation, but also ensuring that the innovation is able to logically and with speed get into the change management, that change management being something that we can actually deploy it in our healthcare delivery. And all of this is really what speed to diagnosis means. And that is the power of digital transformation delivered. That's the power of digital transformation that helps actually bring healthcare into that golden triangle of quality, affordability, and accessibility. And this means that whoever needs healthcare will be able to get it within the realm of the right pricing. Obviously, affordability, pricing are all words that sometimes go into a direction of uh, free or, or lower cost or subsidized. It can be right priced and this will actually make the whole economic model of healthcare powered by technology to be sustainable in all formats 
in which healthcare is delivered. So that's really my thoughts in terms of how we can take these innovative point of care testing or innovative devices also. I know today we are doing a lot of uh, thing, uh, 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 point of care testing uh, thing showcases as well as some of the screening showcases. But I really don't want to call them as these are all formats by which we can look at early diagnosis of a presented complaint. And obviously, the more we are able to detect a larger presence of any disease pattern, the better and the more vibrant will be our society and thereby our economy. So this brings not just growth, but it brings a lot of sensible, mature and responsible delivery for all of us. And as each one of us having the privilege of working in the digital area with an alignment to healthcare, I think we are in the right place at the right time, just that we need to get our delivery and our act together so that we are not just admiring innovation, but this becomes mainstream. So my call to action would be in terms of getting this into mainstream so that we fundamentally transform our models of care for higher availability with the surety of, uh, of correctness with the surety that this is clinically and evidence-based medicine-wise correct, thereby it will be accepted as a regular format of care consumption or care delivery and thereby making healthcare more vibrant. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to talk to all of you and I look forward to listening to the session.